Hello everybody and welcome to this particular lesson. I hope that this particular or special discussion will help you in your continuous lessons. So, the title for today's discussion is Types of Linear Programming Solutions. And our objective is to explain different types of solutions for linear programming problems. Linear program problems may have different solutions. So we will see each of the solutions that we'll encounter in solving linear programming problem. So the types of linear programming solutions may be categorized into four types, the feasible solution, the optimal solution, infeasible solution, and unbounded solution. So, when we are solving the linear programming, we may encounter one of these solutions ultimately. Let me start with feasible solution. Feasible solution is a solution which satisfies all the constraints and the non-negativity restrictions. These are the constraints. These are the constraints from this example, 4x1 plus 10x to less than or equal to 100, to x1 plus x to less than or equal to 22, 3x1 plus 3x to less than or equal to 39 are our constraints. These are our constraints. And these are the neg negativity restrictions, that is, all the decision variables should be greater than or equal to zero. In this particular example, we have only two decision variables, that is, x1 and x2, which should be greater than or equal to zero so the feasible solution should satisfy the solution which satisfy these constraints and these negativity restrictions can be called as feasible solution feasible solution let us see graphically look the solution for this example this linear programming example is this one as you see here is the shaded region, the shaded region which satisfies the constraints, all the constraints, as well as the non-negativity restrictions, the non-negativity restrictions. So this shaded region is a, sol a feasible solution space. It is a feasible solution space that we can draw an optimal solution. By the way, we can get optimal solution from this feasible solution space the feasible solution space once again satisfies all the constraints and the negativity restrictions and the second solution is optimal solution as i said before optimal solution can be obtained from feasible solution space graphically we can obtain the optimum solution from the feasible solution space, particularly the corner points of that region. Anyway, problem is if the problem has feasible and bounded solution, feasible and bounded solution, then there exists an optimal point. An optimal point is on the boundary of the feasible region. On the corner points of the feasible region, we can say we can get from the corner points of the previous feasible region. There is always at least one optimal corner point, or we can get sometimes more than one optimal solutions. If the feasible region has a corner point, so we can get either one or multiple optimal solutions. We can have the opportunity we can have the option to get either one or multiple optimal solution there are cases there are two cases that we can get either unique or multiple optimal solutions the first case is if any of the basic variable has not zero that means if we get once once we get the final table the final iteration table so if any of the non basic variable has not zero in the last row of cj minus zj there is a unique solution for a linear programming problem there is a unique solution in this case but if 
the num basic variables has not zero in the last row of cj minus zj there may have multiple solutions for the linear program problem anyway we will see it with an example not here you have to remind that the values of non basic variables is zero but not for zero for the, the basic variables the basic variable has a value which is not equal to zero but the non basic variable has a value which is set to be zero let's see an example this is an example of maximization and as you see this is the feasible region that we have discussed before this is a feasible solution space so we can get we we have we can get our optimal solution from this feasible region particularly the corner points of this feasible region as you see there are uh, one two three four five corner points for this region there are five corner points so from these five corner points we have to test each corner point coordinates so that we can determine which of the corner points can maximize our objective functions so when we test all the corner all the five corner points on our objective functions so we get this value so from this value for example corner point one zero zero the origin uh, gets z value zero the second corner that is zero ten this corner point is so we can get when we replace this corner points we get 500 and the third point is that's 5 8 when we substitute 5 8 into the z function we get 700 and the third corner the fourth i mean the fourth corner point is that is 9 and 4 when we substitute 9 and 4 we get 740 here and the last corner point that's the fifth corner point is 11 by the way here it is here it is it should be here 11 and 0 so we get 660 among these corner points so the uh, uh, maximum corn the point that make our objective function to be maximum is corner point 4 so here it is that means this one is our optimal solution this one is an optimal solution uh, it is on optimal solutions that's the corner that maximizes it uh, is 9 and 4 such that it can be 740 this is our optimal solution this is our optimal solution let's see an example of uh, this iteration by the way this is uh, an example which uh, would be done using simplex method so the final table the final table as you see here shows that the cj minus zj values are all less than or equal to zero so in the case of maximization as you see in the case of as you remember in the case of maximization to arrive or to reach an optimal solution the cj minus zj row should be less than or equal to zero so as you see here optimality can be achieved optimality is already arrived that is x1 equals as you see here x1 equals 3 and x2 equals 18 and x6 equals 1 so these are the basic variables these are x1 x2 and x6 are the basic variable whereas x3 and x3 x4 and x5 are the non-basic variable and then basic variable so according to the previous uh, criteria we can determine that this this uh, table or this linear programming has unique solution because all the non basic variable has a value which is not equal to zero a value which is not equal to zero if the value of the non basic variable in the cj minus zj row becomes zero so there may have 
there may have an opportunity to get multiple solutions for the linear programming. So from here, we arrived on optimality for the maximization case because the CJ minus ZJ values, all as you see, are less than or equal to zero. And here it is, X1, X2, and X3, no, X1, X2, and X6 are basic variables, whereas X3, X4, and X5 are the non-basic variables. And the third solution is infeasible solution. In this case, feasible region is MPT. We have defined that feasible region is a region which can satisfy both the constraints and the non-negativity restrictions. So that region, that region, that particular region become empty in this case. There exists no solution that satisfy all the constraints at a time. All the cons for the feasible region, all the constraints as well as the non-negativity restriction should be satisfied. But here, all the constraints cannot be satisfied at a time or simultaneously. So we can call this an infeasible solution. If all the constraints are of less than or equal to type, then the infeasible solution condition will not arise. These are the conditions for the infeasible solution. If all the constraints are related with the right hand side with less than or equal to, so the infeasible solution condition will not arise. And the second condition is if any of the constraints is greater than or equal to or equal type, then we are using artificial variables to find out the solutions. We are using the artificial variable. By the way, we will discuss the uh, concept of artificial variable in another lesson. So if these artificial variables will remain in the basic variable column, even though the optimum solution has been reached, then such conditions known as infeasible solution, infeasible solutions. If those artificial variables remain in the basic variable column, so our solution becomes infeasible solution. In the case of when we are solving the uh, when we are solving the linear program using uh, simplex method. Here is an example. Look this example. The constraints include less than or equal to and greater than or equal to. So in this case, in this case, we have to see the artificial variables. By the way, to solve this type of problem, we have to include artificial variable. And if those artificial variables remain in the basic column, in the basic column, in the basic variable column, so the solution will be infeasible. infeasible. Here it is. An artificial variable s is an artificial variable and this is the basic variable column the basic variable column so the s3 here remains or exists in the basic variable column so the solution will be infeasible for this linear programming let's see an example with graphical method as you see this example so the solution for this Linear program problem can be solved using graphical method because it has only two decision variables. And as you see here, the solutions, the, for example, the red line, that means the uh, first constraint is outward from the region. It, it is shaded from the line outward from the origin. It's shared like this, like this. It's shaded with red lines, shared with red lines. And the second constraint is the yellow text is shaded because it's greater than or equal to it's shaded outward outward from the line outward and the last the third constraint 3x1 plus 3x2 less than or equal to 13 because it is less than or equal to so it is shaded like this with blue line like this so as you see there is no intersection region which satisfy all the constraints there is no intersection region. There is no region 
which commonly satisfy all the constraints at a time, as you see from here. So we can say here, there is an invisible solution. Invisible solution. The solution is invisible solution. And the last one is unbounded solution. In the case of unbounded solution, feasible region is unbounded towards optimizing direction. Here, it is a situation where the objective function is infinite without violating any of the constraints in the problem. The, here, the maximization, let's look, uh, let's look at this example, z equals 60x1 plus 50x2. So, when we draw, when we try to solve this linear program using graphical method, we get this type of uh, solution. So, since all the coordinates are expressed with greater than or equal to, the shared region becomes outward. We shade outward, so the intersection region is this one. This is an intersection region. This is an intersection region, the feasible region. It is a feasible region, but it is not bounded. It is a feasible region, but it is not bounded. So our solution becomes unbounded solution because it makes our z value, it makes our objective function to be infinite. To be infinite. By the way, this feasible region can satisfy all the constraints and as well the non-negative restrictions. So this is a feasible region, but it is not bounded. So we can call this unbounded solution. Let's look at with a simplex method. This is a table when we are trying to solve using simplex method. So we have to see whether this table arrived on optimality or not. As you see, in the case of maximization, the zj minus cj value, cj minus zj value should be less than or equal to zero. So here, there is no optimal, here optimality will not be arrived. So we will continue our iteration. So to continue our iteration, we have to choose from CJ minus Z0 the maximum positive number, the maximum positive numbers. The maximum positive number here, it is one over two. And once we determine this pivot column, we have to determine the pivot row. To determine the pivot row, we have to look the ratio of right-hand side, this column, with that of the pivot column, this x5 column, x5 column. So when we divide, when we divide the right-hand side value with the pivot column, 3 divided by minus 1 over 10, 18 divided by minus 2 over 5, 1 divided by minus 7 over 10, all becomes negative. The ratio becomes negative. So when all the right hand side divided by pivot column become negative, thus it is not possible to determine the basic variable that should live. That means it is not possible to determine the pivot row because we cannot have any positive value in this ratio. As you remember, we have to select the positive, the smallest, the least positive number from the ratio column. But here there is no positive number. So it's not possible to determine the basic variable that should live and hence the linear program has unbounded solution, unbounded solution. This is all about uh, for today's discussion. Have a good time. Bye.